I'm about to give you the gateway drug for movement shooters. Echo Point Nova is a demo, and I spent three hours playing it. It's made by Greylock Studio, who also made Severed Steel, which you should definitely buy wishlist or whatever. I'll also be making a video about it later. All the gameplay footage you're seeing is on the hardest difficulty, and I also 100%ed the game. Something that I also want to do a lot of on this channel. I love giving myself a challenge, as you could tell. Anyways, subscribe or I'm going to airshot you. And here's Echo Point Nova. Goodness. It's sort of your standard arena shooter vibe with all the classic weapons. Pistol, SMG, shotgun, assault rifle, sniper, and grenade launcher. But it's the movement mechanics that make this game really shine. This game bases itself entirely around riding a hoverboard, doing kickflips, and decimating dudes going light speed. This game is also following the current gaming trend of giving its players a grappling hook, but it works so well in this game. The map itself is an open world, but in this world, you only have small floating islands to hop from. Each island holds enemies to fight, new guns, and new perks to experiment with. The world is also partially destructible. You're given a sledgehammer to destroy stuff, but you can only really destroy buildings and some terrain. This, in my opinion, could be expanded upon in the future, but for now, it didn't feel like there was much use. As far as perks go, they're pretty simple. I won't go and list them all, but the perk where your non-equipped weapons reload themselves is a must for me. I like to swap my weapons all the time for fluidity and style points of combat. I also like the one where launched enemies explode when shot, because I can do things like this. There's also some movement ones in here too, but I feel like the movement is already so solid, I don't need to get any more. The thing about perks, however, is that you need to find them all on your own. They're hidden throughout the map, but they're pretty easy to find if you know how to look for them. I just play the game normally until I hear a faint pinging sound. And at the bottom of the screen, it will show a signal that will get stronger as you get closer. Some of these are a bit unconventional. For example, this one had me use all my grenade launcher shots to dig into the earth, although there is one item that can break terrain that we have yet to get. There are also two types of grenades, one that launches enemies and one that is basically just a grenade. The former, the launching grenade, is by far the most fun. Launching enemies, then trying to hit a sniper shot on one of them will never not be cool. But pair this grenade with a perk that blows up enemies that you launch, and you have a recipe for fun. And that's kind of the theme of the whole demo. Fun. They waste no time in the beginning stages. You load in, you get a gun, one to two minutes later you have a hoverboard, a grapple hook, a double jump, and an arsenal of weapons. There's so many perks that will contribute to the idea of fun too, but I'll just let you download the demo and experiment with that stuff yourself. The objective of the game is pretty simple. Follow the giant beacons in the sky, touch the giant orb, massacre some enemies, and repeat until you get all five orbs. Then you can fight the big boss. This is where they really experimented. The boss is a giant flying bird that has 7 weak points, but the interesting part is that the boss is just a giant arena to fight and skate through. The biggest gripe I have, however, is that the projectiles aren't relative to your velocity, so the bird is moving fairly slowly and it might be hard to notice, but if you're throwing projectiles like the grenades, it's pretty apparent. Maybe they'll add Newton's second law in the next update. Either way, the boss is still fun. After defeating this boss, the game says, okay, now go 100% it, to which you start to wonder, what did I even miss? Well, there are a few secrets this game doesn't tell you about. 
you just have to go and find them yourself. I noticed that like half of the map was completely unused. The first thing I wanted to do was check out this volcano that I saw in the distance. What? Whoa. What? There's mechs now? Yep, that's right. They kept an entire enemy variant hidden in the secret areas of the map. To be fair, these things are pretty brain dead and easy to beat anyways, but I'm excited to see how they improve them in the future. From here we also get a non-textured pickaxe, which would have been nice for that other module that we had to use the grenade launcher for. The next island over, they also set up a nice little shooting range minigame for you. This is sick. Oh, let's go. Wait, that's sick. And then I realized this was about it for the secrets and secret items that they wanted you to find. However, there were still so many places that were unexplored. So I spent a hot minute trying to do a near perfect jump and reach this section of the map. After making it to these islands, I noticed that these were just areas the devs were experimenting with. There's all sorts of structures and arenas all the way out here, and I think they wanted to see how fun playing in these sorts of environments were. Since it's a demo, it's really fun to leave these things in and get a glimpse into the development process. Maybe some of these ideas will come to fruition in a future update, but for now they're still pretty fun to play. They even had a mini boss that was a mech. I've come to realize that movement shooters are one of, if not my favorite genres in all of gaming. There's something so fun and addicting to flying all over the place, switching weapons, deleting enemies, and there's so many games that do it right. I do have experience in these games, I've played both TF2s, Quake, Doom, even Rad's Instigate. When someone asks me what my favorite games are, I feel like I gravitate towards these, except I have never really delved deep into the plethora of arena slash movement shooters that are available on Steam. So I think that tackling these games, getting better at them, and making fun and interesting videos about them is going to be one of the end goals of my channel. With all that said, download this demo, wishlist it, and subscribe for more.